All right, we're back at it. It's a uh, beautiful, almost spring day in Ohio. Just had a big front go through the other night. Uh, really stirred up the water. And it's a little, little windy yet today, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get in, get on some catfish. Um, switching it up a little bit today and uh, using chicken breasts and shrimp soaked in garlic. So see how that does for us. We're gonna get all set up and get the lines in the water. Both go with chicken breast to start? Yeah. All right. Just bait it up, cast it out. Go. Nice piece of chicken breast, coated in garlic. I'm gonna cast you out that way. Set up and then we'll get some bells on it. We don't really need bells. I like it in the dark, especially because I, you know, tend to not pay attention sometimes. I don't really need them though. Alright, hook number two. And also, this is going to be the first cast on this pole. All right, we got one. We got one on the line. Careful, you're not hitting my pole. You sure it's on there? Yeah. So this, it will feel heavy because no. uh, uh, you missed it. So when you're next time, what we can do is not. Just be a little bit more patient and let it really take the bait. You know what I mean? Because we got, he just got a little too excited, which is normal. But um, it's going to feel heavy because we have the bigger weights on there. I know, but it felt heavy. It felt really heavy? Yeah. All right, let's get it back out there. That's good. That's uh, signs of life. Oh, well, that's good. That means uh, there's fish here. Excited, doesn't it? Better than sitting here with nothing happening. So next time, just wait until like it really has it. You'll see it. You'll see that rod bouncing up and down, not just little hits. With the circle hook, and also I smelled the hooks, so it will. The hook will set itself. But that's exciting. We just got to be a little bit more patient. That's good. Always like to hear that jingle, jingle. It actually was actually was jingling a little bit. It looked like something pulled it. I don't know how much of that's going to come up on camera with it being so dark out here. But once it gets a little bit darker, then our light should illuminate the area. Did you see it? Oh, I got him. He's on there. He's decent. He's decent. Grab the net. Just put the net down. I'll put it in. I'll bring it to the net. Got him. Yeah. 
We're not going home empty handed. Mm -hmm. right. Over here. Well, we can weigh them. He's not very big, but we can weigh him up. Get the shot on that's a little channel catfish. About like maybe a foot and a half, maybe. Yeah, he's about he's probably about 18 inches or so. All right, on the board. Get the hook out of him. this uh, lip gripper before and it weighs 0 0.44 pounds so we'll account for that a 2.3 pound channel catfish nice fish mm-hmm let's get that boy back in the water sir now something about catfish is that you know they have their their venomous spines yeah you don't the not... smaller the fish are the sharper they are so the smaller fish are actually more dangerous well not dangerous really but more of a risk than the bigger fish because they have sharper spines so mm -hmm. close on this and release them. where is he going there he goes Thank you.